Why aren't you taking in any Palestinians? These are Palestinians. These are their land. Israeli officials have been talking openly about this. Mm -hmm. It's like, why don't they just go in Sinai? You know what would happen? Those people are going to be pushed in Sinai. And with any population, two million people, they are living in refugee camp. What do you think will happen? Unrest, chaos. Mm -hmm. And then after a few years, Western media will come with their cameras like, oh, look at those Arabs. Oh, they are killing each other. Oh, Israel is good that they got rid of them. And then they will go to the West Bank. And so then those 3.5 million people push into Jordan. This, the whole idea, why does Jordan take them? Why does Egypt take them? The same question. Europe has 44 countries. Why don't they take Israel? America has 50 states. Why don't they give them Florida? Why don't they just like give uh, Israel? The whole idea was like, oh, you're Arabs, you're all the same. No, no, no. Because what would happen then? So Israel will move into Jordan? It's like, oh, Saudi, why don't you take the Jordanian? This is not oh, a hey, solution. Oh, hey, this oh, is oh, not hey. a solution. But the whole idea about like the West. I think that in three weeks, Israel morally corrupted the West like no other. I think the West will have a lot of time to recover because for years, the West has been telling us, oh, look, we are liberal. We're all about human rights. All are equal. Adopt our values. And then suddenly, you don't want to even to cease. We don't want to even tell Israel to stop. And suddenly, we wake up and we found McDonald's are giving free meals to the Israeli because, like, nothing will make you feel better after killing a bunch of okay, Palestinian okay. kids than a happy meal. So, you let, know? Me, so let me ask you. They this. have a toy. So, so this brings.